I'd probably say the worst part about Vegas is waking up in the morning, but the best part about morning in Vegas is the breakfast is usually pretty good. Let's go see if the breakfast at Delano's is as good as the rest of Vegas. It's the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. All right, Spinners and Sharks, we are actually heading straight downstairs to Della's Kitchen here at the Delano, Las Vegas. It is early, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and it looks like housekeeping's already doing the rounds and all that. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, do our thing while they do their thing. And this time, we're going to remember to press the, uh, the down button. Wonder Woman and I forgot to do that last time. So we're going to do that properly this time. And then, uh, yeah, it's time for a little bit of food. I cannot words right now. We actually just have to go straight across the lobby here. And then it's going to be on the corridor that takes you down to Mandalay Bay as a whole. So you're going to go through the big French double doors over here, right by the coffee shop. And then we're just going to walk our way straight over to Della's Kitchen. So let's see if they have an opening for one. It'll be a quick, simple, seamless review. And then, yeah, we're going to be back to it. So we'll roll right up to the host. Alright, so when it's sharks, I'm seated in the restaurant right now. I'm actually trying to have a real quick look at the menu. It's quite a large menu, physically very large. <laughs> it's actually on this whole little wooden post and all that, so they did a good job of that. And I'll probably just do something really simple like uh, cranberry juice or whatever just to get in here. I don't think they have any special um, non-alcoholic beverages. So we'll see. Oh no, they do have a Desert Dawn. I might try that. That looks interesting. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at their Chef's Farmhouse special too soon. All right, guys, so as you can see from the menu, uh, Della specializes in kind of that farm fresh, old school sort of breakfast specialty with a little twist on it. So they've got great little things like huevos rancheros, uh, you get uh, grits and greens, chicken and waffles, all that good type of stuff over there. I uh, know they've got some newer stuff too, obviously they've got the avocado toast that you can get in on, um, and then there's a smoked salmon uh, tartine there. So that's interesting, I probably mispronounced that, and of course they have their classic farmhouse club as well too. So lots of interesting things to do. I'll probably end up doing, uh, you know, I think I will go ahead and try it. They're, they're chicken and waffles, that's their classic there. So we're gonna try that out, see if that's any good, and then uh, just rock and roll from there. All right guys, so here's what we got over here. We got the chicken and waffles. So it's definitely a modern twist on an old classic over here. So it looks like they are homemade crispy buttermilk waffles here and uh, chicken breast as opposed to uh, you know, thighs, drumsticks, anything like that. So definitely a more modernized uh, general twist too. We also do have some bacon over here. Good side of bacon and then eggs over medium too. So crispy but not too crispy. That's a good call. So I think we're gonna be all right. We even got the maple syrup over here. This is pure warmed maple syrup. So you can actually watch that pour out and just kind of cascade down and it is gonna be great stuff. So I'm really looking forward to this. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a bite over here, enjoy ourselves a little bit, and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm not too fussed about the eggs. Eggs are eggs, and then bacon looks like it's actually pretty high quality here. So we're looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, see how the chicken and waffles are, and enjoy ourselves a little bit. Here we go. Just get it all together, you know. That's not a lot of chicken on there. It's a lot of breading. All right, doesn't uh, doesn't last long with the syrup on it there, so you just kind of end up with a crust separate 
of the actual chicken, so that's uh, that's a thing we notice. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and cut into this, have a nice little bite over here, and see if it's any good. It's still nice and soft though. Hmm. Actually, that was pretty good, I gotta admit. The, the chicken's well seasoned, um, you can tell the actual chicken season, as well as the breading is too, if you just take a quick look at that. I'd probably say, I mean that's a good 4 out of 5 right there, you got the powdered sugar in there, the uh, waffle is soft but it's still crispy on the end of the series so you get a good crunch with it, and it you know, de definitely doesn't hurt going down, so not dry at all, nice and moist, definitely a solid 4 out of 5 there. Um, it's definitely got that kind of old school sort of country taste to it, like uh, like it would be something that you ate with country gravy and all that. Uh, I think if I have any gripes, it probably would be the fact that the chicken is fried in breasts and all that, instead of it being like thighs or drumsticks or anything, so that usually gives it a bit more flavor to me personally. Otherwise, some really good stuff. All right, it's my new shark. So just back from Della's right now. Um, if I had to rate the place out of five, I think I'd still end up giving it a three. I don't think the value for money is there for a lot of the stuff. You get some decent sized portions, not gonna lie. But for what they're charging for sides, like I think it was nine dollars for a side of bacon, and then uh, for two eggs it was another six dollars. And it was just, I mean, it's pretty standard hotel ridiculous rates there. Um, otherwise, you know, pretty good food service was. Pretty average, and it's a, it's a pretty open restaurant. It's just kind of attached to the hotel, and I think that's the big thing. If it was a standalone, I don't see myself going there. But yeah, if you're at the Delano, already visiting over there, and then just want to do something quick and easy for breakfast, well, that's a good way about going things, I'd say. All right there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to give another shout out to our Patreon members. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me in this way and help Ace of Vegas stay independent of the YouTube algorithm. Because let's be honest, my content isn't always as censor and advertiser friendly as YouTube would like, so this goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. As for Della's, what did you guys think? Would you go to breakfast there? Or is your appetite better saved for the Mandalay Bay pool itself? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva, Viva Ace of Vegas.